Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and in this video, what I want to talk about are the Fat Shark Scout FPV goggles. Now, these goggles have been pretty great. I really like the compact size. I like that it has OS or it has the DVR built in, and they've been working pretty darn well. But there are a couple issues that I've been having, and I want you to know about them. And also, let me know in the comments if you're experiencing the same kind of thing, because I'm not totally sure how to how to fix these, or if it's just my goggles, or what the deal is. So the first and most important thing that I want you to be aware of is I've had situations where the goggles will just shut off like just all of a sudden like there's just power's gone and i'm like what's going on is the battery dead what's happening well the battery's not dead i think what's happening is that the auto shut off is engaging and my understanding is that there's a gyro sensor in here so that it will keep the goggles on as long as it senses movement but it will shut them off if the goggles are still after about five minutes. I think what's happening is that because I'm just such a cool cucumber when I'm flying around and I don't move my head very much, I think the goggles are thinking that they've just been left on and they're just sitting there and so they've been shutting off. Now, fortunately, in some cases, it, they'll shut off just about when I'm done flying, like, like as soon as I'm done flying. And coincidentally, that has worked out pretty well. In one situation, I was flying around in mid-flight and the goggles just shut off and I, you know, crash landed and everything was mostly okay. But that's not good, that's not a good thing. So what I've done is I've gone into the menu and just turned off the auto shut off because I think that I would rather just have the goggles not shut off on me when I'm actually flying and just, you know, be mindful of not running the battery down and carrying a spare battery with me. Another issue that I've been having with the Fat Shark Scouts, it seems like when we get a bad reception, like like very very you know spotty reception, it's it's not very good. It seems like the goggles, the image is freezing. Like it'll like freeze and then continue. Like so I'm not sure what's going on there because it seems like it's more of a, like it's an analog FPV signal, but I guess it's being digitized or I'm not really sure what's going on there to be honest with you. Um, but it seems like what's happening is we're getting more, much more of like a digital like freeze, like a lockup kind of situation. And, and we're skipping frames or I'm not sure how many frames, but it's enough time that once it gets to the next image, you're like, whoa, I thought I was back there. So we are getting that lag. These goggles are the Ishian goggles too. They're very old, they're very bulky. These are the first FPV goggles that I got. Now I've never had a problem with these ones like I have with the Fat Shark Scouts. I'm specifically not comparing the reception between the two goggles, but what the goggles do when they get bad reception. So let's go out and test fly both of these right now. Sinky, sinky. Okay, we'll do it. Looks good. All right, so this should be a pretty quick test. Once we get out here a little ways and we have, get, once we get some breakup, it seems like it happens especially when I'm going fast. Or maybe it's just unfortunate like that. Let's get behind these chicken coops here. See how the screen just like, yeah, it's kind of twitching. Oh, it is getting a little harder to control here. Whoa, I can feel that wind, man, pushing me. Definitely getting choppy. It's getting really choppy. I'm actually kind of surprised I can fly this far out here. See that? You see that? See how it's like a different frame? It's not just fuzzy. It's like a different frame happened right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yep, like that. You see that? Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, I think I'm okay. Nope, I'm not okay. Okay, here we are in the recording or the editing software. I think this is gonna be the best way to demonstrate what I'm talking about here because it happens kind of fast and I wanna be able to walk through it frame by frame. So let's take a look at this clip right here. Okay, all right, let's watch this again. Now here's an important note is that for this video editing software, DaVinci Resolve, with the Fat Shark Scout files, it's a .mov file, and for some reason, it, like if it gets a bad frame, or if it's like a corrupt frame or whatever's going on, and I think it's, it has to do with the way that the DVR is recording it, or maybe that the way that the Fat Shark goggles are receiving the, the video feed, 
if it um, is a bad frame, the video editing software just says media offline. So that's bad in the sense that we don't get to actually see it, exactly how it would look through the goggles, but it's kind of good in this case because it kind of tells us however many frames are video offline, that's how many frames are getting dropped out of the video feed or at least the DVR feed, but I think it's pretty accurate. So let's watch it again and we'll go frame by frame here. Now, if we if you look at this, like look how many different colors and kind of individual frames like that. Like look at that. Like that looks totally different from the actual image. And it's not just it's not just the colors or the um, distort like the fuzziness, but it's actually the the angle. Like look at that. The whole video feed just got like shifted over. And again, we're just looking at this center, kind of this center square. The, 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 the video on the sides is from the GoPro. So we're coming through here. Like, look at that. Like, what is that? What is that? What am I even looking at? It's like it takes two frames and just splits them up and then just kind of like puts them together on there. So really, really bad. Like, that's, oh, that's awful. And then just media offline. Next frame, media offline. Next frame, we're back. And then we have that. I mean, it's it's bad. It is bad. Going to keep going through here frame by frame. A lot of static. Kind of distortion. We hit those branches. Okay, hit those branches. Look at that. Wow. Let's watch that clip again. Now let's compare this to the Eashin goggles. So we're coming through here. It looks pretty bad. You know, it's not, it doesn't look good. Um, things are kind of blurry and dark and hard to see, but look at the main image though. It looks like we're not getting, there's a little bit of a shift right there. Kind of a shift right there. Yeah, pretty bad right there. Okay, but still for the most part, like the image is upright. Definitely a lot of lines, a lot of static. We're, it's going black and white. Going to keep coming through here. Still more static. Again, mostly black and white at this point. Okay. So let's continue back on the Fat Shark Scout goggles and let's let's see how this looks. Ooh. And then we get that media offline. Okay, so let's go through that uh, frame by frame. Okay, my computer's working hard to try and screen record and play this in the editing software right now. So that's pretty darn bad. Let's get to right about here where we start to see that media offline uh, thing. So here, ooh, pretty bad. And then media offline. And then it's, work, you know, it's coming back. And then we get this. So all choppy, media offline media offline and then media offline again offline 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 and then we're back okay so not too bad right there but then like that's really bad that's bad and then that's really bad media offline offline coming back offline and then this, this is probably one of the worst things that the Fat Shark Scout goggles do is it, we get this like distorted image. So it's not even, it's not just that the image is not clear. It's that these, the image is actually like shifted and it like, look at that. Like it looks this, this way we're looking at the house in a certain angle. And then the next frame, it's like, we're looking at it at a different angle. And then we have these weird little jagged lines on the right hand side there. Okay, but that was just one frame. So it doesn't seem too bad, but if you have enough of these frames, it really throws you off. And then we have this, which is like, what is this? So like, what are we seeing? It's like we're getting half of the left side of the image on the right of the screen and half of the right side of the image on the left of the screen. Wow. And we'll just keep going. And then again, we have this whole thing. That right there seems to be a pretty common issue having like the top and the bottom almost like a, a film reel, which is kind of funny.
Um, and then media, off media offline, media offline. We're back. Things are all purple and stuff, black and white. Pretty strange. And then we have that again, media offline, offline. We're back, offline, offline. Now we're gonna go to the Eosheen goggles and we'll watch this. Now, just to note here, I have shifted the Eosheen goggles down a little bit because the way it was recorded, they also have kind of a weird thing going on. So I did have to crop the Eosheen goggles screen a little bit, but just keep that in mind. Okay, so not very good, but we're getting static, but you know, pretty flyable. Like we're, we're still, we're still able to fly decently well. Certainly not clear, but staticky. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So that was actually, that worked out pretty darn well. So again, you know, we're coming in here, a lot of static. We got some blurred lines. We do have some jumping, jumping of the frames there, kind of the top and bottom. Okay, a lot, a lot of static, static. But look at the main image though, like in, kind of behind the static. We're, it, it's consistent, it's consistent. So it, there may be static in front of it, and it's black and white, but really for the most part, it's consistent. And I would say it's much more flyable there, right there. We do have some of that weird little kind of vertical shifting. Okay. But for the most part, the image is, is staying in the correct kind of orientation. And notice we have not dropped any frames. So let's take a look at this other clip here, and I feel like it's a pretty good representation um, of, of the issue here. So, okay, so we get that media offline. Now let's roll back, so let's take a look at this. Now again, I'm not getting the media offline in my goggles, it's just on the video editor, but I think it's kind of telling to where the frames actually drop out. So if we come around the corner here, we have some pr pretty bad distortion. It's kind of to be expected, but then right, look, see how it's, the image is really starting to shift quite a bit. And then that, ooh, wow, look at those trees. Okay, coming through here frame by frame. And then right like that, like what's that? Like now the whole image, it looks like I'm pointing in a different direction. And then we have that. And that's that's really bad. Like, so it's kind of, it's almost like it's zooming in on the image and pointing it in a different direction. Okay. And then media offline, media offline, and then we're back. So take so you can see on the sides of the screen there where the, how the GoPro is still recording. I, again, I synced these up as close as I could, but it may not be perfect. But you can see that the how much movement there is in just those few frames on the GoPro um, where it didn't record it on the goggles. So then media offline again, media offline, media offline media offline, and then we're back. So you can see there's like little chunks taken out of this. And the effect when you're flying, I'm not sure if you can really tell right here, but when you're flying, the effect is that it's like you're teleporting. It's like you are you thought you were farther away and then suddenly you're closer and you're like, whoa. So let's take a look at that um, in real time. So it all happens really fast, but that's kind of the point is when, when you're flying fast, the, the faster you fly, the worse it is because you're tr you're traveling more distance in the, in the same amount of frames that are dr being dropped out. So now let's take a look at that same clip, but what I've done is I've actually screen recorded the Fat Shark recording so that it wouldn't have the media offline for the for those clips that drop out. Fat Shark on the left, Eosheen on the right. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so we're coming around the corner here and I tried to sync these up as best I could, but they might be a little bit off. So we're getting pretty bad distortion from the Eosheen in both of them really. But I think right about here, we're gonna start seeing that really we have way worse distortion on the Fat Sharks like that. You see that? Like right there. Yeah, so right there. So between these two frames, these might not be synced up perfectly frame for frame, but look at that on the fat shark. Look at how right there we're like banking, we're turning, and then suddenly the next frame, it looks like we're pointed in a different direction. Mm -hmm. Okay, now take a look at this frame right here. On the fat shark, it's like, it's not just that we have a, a bad frame, it's like it looks like we're pointing down. 
like it like our our point of aim becomes different and if we look if we look at all this if you look on the right side at the Eoshin DVR we just have it's bit yeah it's bad but all the frames pretty much line up for the most part we do have some weirdness going on like right there gets weird but it all lines up pretty well uh, so watch the left hand frame for the fat shark scout you see right there right as i do that turn that right there i think we're drop we're dropping a few more frames than than what it would look like and so we get sort of this jump it, it has a very jerky sort of sort of feel. Okay, I hope that illustrates that pretty well. So let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you noticed any difference between these two goggles or if you're having similar issues with your Fat Shark Scout goggles. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. If you like this video, go check out this one right over here and I will see you again very soon.